tell me why it's this big. <gasps> I'm not saying she was lying. Oh, wow. Wow. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing some new viral makeup. The thing that I'm most excited for is the new REM Beauty Concealer. But I've got a few different makeup products in here that have gone viral on the internet or they've just been really popular, however you want to call it. We have got REM Beauty, we have got e.l.f., we have got Beauty Crop, we have got Fenty. Let's just get into it. Yesterday my eczema flared up massively and I've managed to kind of calm it down quite a lot. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury mask that you put in the freezer for half an hour and then you put it on your face and that calmed down the redness a lot. And then I was actually just using my Embryolease Sensitive Moisturizer Cream. And then on top of that, I put the Drunk Elephant, it's called like Wonder Balm or something. That worked amazingly well. And also the Ren Skincare, it's like a barrier repair moisturizer stuff that's also like a balmy texture. They're both very similar to each other, that and the Drunk Elephant one. They are both so good for like locking in moisture and sort of like slugging your skin, I think they say overnight. That helped so much. But anyway, REM Beauty is now on Selfridges. It literally launched on Monday, so I went straight on there. I made an order for the new primer, the concealers, and the little like sponge thing. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with the primer, which is called the Luna Magic Blurring Primer. And it says in here that it has their Rem Hydro Blur Essence. It's an ultra smooth primer. Apparently, oh, apparently it cools on contact. That sounds like it's gonna irritate my skin and helps minimize the look of pores, fine lines and wrinkles for your best prep. Yeah, okay, cool. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just very sort of basic. And apparently this is supposed to be very similar to the blurring eye balm that they released in the, in one of the previous drops. Okay, it looks like the exact same texture, but just in a tube. Ooh. I thought it was gonna be the exact same feeling, but actually it's not. You know what, this actually feels very nice. It's quite thick in a way. I thought it would almost melt and turn into a liquid, but it stays relatively thick on the face. It doesn't really have a scent, which is good. When it said cooling, for some reason, I thought it was gonna be like minty fresh, which it is definitely not. <laughs> Thank God for that. It does definitely feel similar to the under eye sort of like smoothing balm stuff that they released before. But I would say this one feels a little bit thicker almost and a bit more sort of jelly-like. It's got a very interesting sort of like soft matte smoothing jelly sort of texture. And I think it has actually mattified me a bit because I don't look as shiny as I did before, which isn't a bad thing. It's sort of mattified my skin, but without making me feel dry. Like my skin still feels relatively hydrated. Just like a tiny bit of tackiness. I actually like that a lot more than I thought I was gonna like it. I didn't really get that kind of like cooling sensation that I do with the eye cream. If my makeup applies nicely over the top, of that I would definitely be using that again because it feels like the type of primer that I like. Oh and also just a little update I have kept on using the REM Beauty lip oil. This is the minty one. Whenever my lips have just been feeling a bit dry I've just been whacking some of this on so. But that primer is nice. I like it. This next thing. Oh my god. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster for Radiant Skin. This is essentially e.l.f.'s dupe of the Hollywood Flawless Filter and I do just want to put out a full disclaimer and be completely honest with you guys. I am doing an ad over on my TikTok TikTok for this product. This video is not sponsored by e.l.f. in any way. I have not been asked to include this in a video on my main channel. And obviously before I accepted the TikTok job with e.l.f., I did try this out to see if I liked it and if I wanted to go ahead with it. And I've got to say, I think it's a tenner, right? And it's quite obviously supposed to be a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I wasn't allowed to mention in the ad that I did. But I mean, this video has no affiliation to e.l.f. and this is just my personal opinions. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've got the shade 3 fair pale. And in the elf one, I've got two different shades. I've got two fair slash light. The doe foot is bigger on the elf one. And then I've also got the shade one fair. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury one in fair three. This is the elf one in the shade two. And this is the elf one in the shade one. The colors aren't quite the same, but then obviously I don't have the shade three in the elf one. So maybe it is more similar. I'm going to go for the elf one in the shade two. You know what? I think I'm actually going to put half on each side of my face and sort of like show you the differences. Let's go with Charlotte Tilbury on the right side of my face. And essentially, this one does have a bigger doe foot, but it's the same sort of product where you can use it like underneath your makeup, you can mix it with your foundation, or you can just like put it on the high points of your face. So let's blend out the Charlotte Tilbury first. So that is, hang on, let me zoom you in all the way. This is how the Charlotte Tilbury one looks. As you can see, it gives your skin a glow. It gives a little bit of coverage. It's not like a foundation, so it doesn't give you crazy good coverage, but it does give that sort of smoothed, 
glowing filtered effect to your face. Wipe the excess off on my arm. And then I'll go in on the e.l.f. side. They both look so similar on the skin. The main sort of difference that I can tell is the Charlotte Tilbury one almost feels like it dries down a little bit more than the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one stays a little bit sort of stickier. This one feels a little bit lighter on my skin. The e.l.f. one is a little bit thicker in terms of the consistency. But in terms of how they look, they both give the skin a beautiful glow. They are just very, very similar products. So if I just step forward, this is how they're looking in the natural light from my window. Um, I'm stood in front of my light, so this is all natural lighting. They both look very beautiful and very glowy. To be honest, I can't tell a crazy difference between them. I've just been staring at my face in the mirror for the past five minutes, having a good old inspection. And I think the main difference between the two, I think the Charlotte Tilbury is actually a little bit more glowy. The e.l.f. one still has a beautiful glow though. And the second difference, I think the e.l.f. one is just a slightly thicker, heavier texture. But if you're on a budget, they are so similar that I don't think anyone would really be able to tell. They both look great, in my opinion. So the thing that I'm most excited for for this video is the REM Beauty, uh, that's the French side, Sweetener Concealer. And I got two shades. I got one for my concealer and one actually for my contour because Ariana was saying that she uses a deeper shade to contour her face. And something that I think is really cool about this concealer, not only do I think they have 60 shades, they have a pure white and a pure black. So if you're a makeup artist or even if you can't find your exact shade, you can sort of like mix and match the concealers together and add a little bit of black if you need it, add a bit of white if you need it. It was quite hard to tell from the swatches online which one I was gonna need, but I ended up going for the shade Light 4G. I thought this was going to be actually a little bit darker than what it is this is what it looks like mine's got a little air bubble in it but that's all right i did dip my finger in this yesterday as you can probably tell <laughs> it does feel very creamy so there is a swatch there i actually think the shade is going to be perfect for my under eyes and then for my contour shade i went for the shade deep one n also as well it comes with this tiny little spatula which I guess is for like if you've got long nails and you just so you don't have to scoop out the product. But with a concealer like this, I would probably just apply it with a brush and then go in with a beauty blender or something. Or use the little sponge that they sell. But this little spoon thing, I, I think it's quite a cute idea. But honestly, I think I will probably just end up losing it. So this is Deep 1N. It looks like this. And yeah, they're very creamy and very, they have a lot of pigment, it seems. So that is that shade. I'm only going to need a tiny bit of that to contour. I also ordered this for £14. It is the Dream Cloud Blender. Tell me why it's this big. It's tiny. I know that I haven't dampened it yet, but I'm assuming this expands quite a lot because when I saw Ariana using this, it looks a whole lot bigger than it does right now. It does look like a little UFO, which I kind of love. It's very cute, but it's just tiny. Like, it's just so diddy. Like, compared to the sponge that I would usually use on my face. <laughs> doesn't actually say whether you should use it wet or dry, but because it's a beauty sponge, I'm going to assume that I use it damp. I'll be right back. It did definitely grow a little bit, but it's still quite small in terms of a beauty sponge. And I'm just going to dip straight in with the sponge, kind of like Ariana did. <gasps> oh, I do quite like how it fits in there. <laughs> so I've got some on. Oh, it looks like a nipple. And then let's just go in with this under my eyes. Oh! <gasps> Oh, wow. I've actually got it in my waterline somehow. <laughs> Jesus, that actually has got really good coverage. I mean, I saw it on Ariana. It looked great on her. The one thing that I'm slightly concerned about with this concealer is because it does feel very, very sort of like creamy and it melts between your fingers. I have a feeling it might be a little bit more creasy than your regular sort of liquid concealer. Generally, concealers in a pot tend to have a little bit more oil in them. Not always the case, but I am really impressed with that. Also, this color is perfect for my under eyes. It definitely feels hydrating. It doesn't feel sort of like matte and thick. It feels thinner than I expected it to. Look at the difference. That's really impressive actually. Let's do the same on the other eye. The sponge is actually applying it really nicely. I just wish that it was a bit bigger, but it's a really, really soft sponge. I'm actually really impressed with that. I think it looks really nice. I'm just gonna take some more on to my blemishes. We'll see how we go on these. And obviously I don't have much coverage on my face because I've just got those sort of like glowy filter things. So if this can add a bit more, oh my gosh. Let's see how well it sort of covers these spot scars. That 
actually very well. So far, I really like it and I'm very impressed. The one thing that we will see is when I set this with powder, is it gonna continue to crease? Because at the moment, it has definitely creased under my eyes. And I mean, I get that with every concealer before I set it. So before I set my face, I will go back in and blend over this. I'm then gonna take this shade and I think what I will do, do shall I try the little spoon? Oh, but I just don't wanna ruin it. I'd rather use a brush. I don't wanna scoop it. If you scoop it, that's gonna put so much product on. I guess I'll use the back of the spoon. No, I hate this little spoon thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I've actually put way too much on, so let's try and scrape some of that off. Yeah, no, this spoon idea is just a bit silly. So let's go in and try and blend out this darker shade as my contour. A little bit goes a long way. Like I said, I've probably taken too much. Okay, on this side where I didn't take as much, beautiful. This side I've got too much, but I will try and blend it out with my sponge in a sec. I was trying to go for a cool tone shade and I went for this one, which was the neutral one, which on their website looked very cool toned, but actually in person, it's quite a bit more warm than I was thinking it would be. It is blending very nicely as I guess it would because it's a concealer. Let's just go back in with my spongy thing and then I'm just gonna blend out my nose. I think it's really nice. Let's try and set it and see how we go. I'm just gonna put a bit of cream blush on. This is the Revolution Roxy Cherry Blossom Blush. Considering my skin has been so dry this morning, right now, I don't think you would ever be able to tell because of these base products. This is a good base combination. So I'm actually gonna set my under eyes using this NARS powder just because I know that it works well. But I do have another powder that I'm going to test, which is the e.l.f. powder camo foundation. Just in case this isn't, isn't sort of like an under eye only one, I'm going to put a bit of powder under my eyes first. Yeah, okay, can you see how this is creased majorly already? Blend. Also, my eyes are a little bit more creasy than normal anyway, just because of um, my eczema at the moment. Nice, nice. And then the same on the other side. So immediately after setting, it's looking good. So now that I've done that, I'm then gonna take the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation, which I picked up in Superdrug yesterday. They didn't have any swatches, swatches. They didn't have any samples or like testers. So I couldn't figure out what shade I was gonna need. So I picked up this one and just hope for the best. It's the shade 150C. But um, it does look like it might be a bit too pink. So let's add some over the top of that and see if it gives any more coverage. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Wow, yeah, that's definitely added coverage because I've now just deleted my blush. <laughs> see if it gives more coverage to this spot. Yeah, it definitely has, but I think this shade is slightly off. Oh, it's because I've gone for 150C, which is obviously cool, but because the box looked quite yellowy, I thought that that looked like it might be my shade, but actually it's 150C, 150 cool. I am an idiot. If they do one in the warm, I'll probably pick that up instead. It is definitely adding a lot of coverage, which is great because it's always good to have a drugstore alternative to like my MAC uh, Studio Fix powder foundation. I think I put too much on because it's kind of just like a thick, layer of powder on my face right now and it's made my makeup feel a lot more heavy in the future i would probably just use this for sort of like spot concealing maybe a touch under my eyes and on any areas where i felt like i needed a bit of extra coverage but i wouldn't use it as like a foundation all over my face does what it says on the tin though it's definitely got coverage so the bronzer that i'm going to be using this is just the inica inica baked mineral bronzer in the shade sunbeam i'll just add a little bit of powder to my face. This brand did actually reach out to me and ask if I would like a discount code for you guys. It's not an affiliate code, it's literally just a code if you wanted to get anything from their website and save some money. I think you can save £10 if you spend over £20 on their website. So I was like, sure, why not? I may as well share it with you. If anybody wanted to buy anything from this organic makeup brand, my discount code is SOF10, which is really nice of them. Just adding a bit of Milani Luminoso. I'm just gonna use the new Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil on my eyebrows, which I've actually really been enjoying since I got this the other day. I've got the shade 3.5. It has a spoolie on one side and then a regular sort of pencil on the other side. It's quite a dry formula of pencil. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it. Basically, it just doesn't deposit too much product into your eyebrows. 
and it blends really nicely. I do wish it was a twist up one though, so you didn't have to keep sharpening it. But the actual formula of the pencil is really nice. I don't think I should have put so much powder all over my face because like I said, my skin was really dry. When I had my base and it was looking really glowy, it looked beautiful, but the second that I powdered, it's just gone back to looking really dry and flaky again. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have put so much thick powder all over my face because now I'm just looking a little bit cakey. I'm just gonna put on a bit of setting spray to bring a bit of life back. Oh, the only thing about doing that is that I then have to reset my eyes. <laughs> so the second to last thing that I'm going to be testing is the Beauty Crop Avocado Mascara, which is apparently a nourishing and volumizing mascara. I saw someone on TikTok the other day testing this against the MAC Stack, and they were saying that they preferred this over the MAC Stack Mascara. And I mean, if I could actually get into it, then maybe I could test it. It's got two layers of plastic. Yeah, they had a little beauty crop section in Superdrug, but they only had a few products. Pretty much everything apart from this was sold out, and I think there was like a lip mask maybe. I've just done an order of beauty crop online. It's sold on a website called Just My Look and obviously they sell it on TikTok as well. I think most of it is sold out on TikTok because I've not really heard much about Beauty Crop anywhere other than TikTok. And I've got to say, I've tried a few bits from them before. I've tried their liquid highlighter, which is really, really nice. I've just ordered their concealers. I've ordered their setting mist. I've ordered one of their liquid blushes. Today, I'm just going to be testing the Avocado Mascara because this is the product that I've seen on TikTok. So this is what the brush looks like. It does look like my kind of brush. It's very slim with short bristles. So I'm hoping this is going to grip my lashes really well. definitely giving me length at the moment it's not really giving me much volume but I'll keep building it I have got to say though in the video where I saw a girl comparing this to the MAC stack mascara she put one on each eye and at the end of it she was saying look I way prefer the beauty crop one but in her video I actually preferred how her lashes looked on the MAC stack side I'm not saying she was lying, but I just, me personally, I preferred how her lashes looked with the MAC stack. It's really lengthening my lashes. It is doing a pretty good job at lengthening my lashes, but I wouldn't compare it to the MAC stack. The MAC stack gef definitely gives a lot more volume. It's okay, it's not a bad mascara, it's pretty good. It's made my lashes quite long. Yeah, they look really good on this side. My lashes on my left eye are generally a bit more shit. <laughs> Don't know why that is. This girl that I saw on TikTok was making it out as if it was like the best mascara she's ever used. I wouldn't go that far. It's all right. By the way, using that milk setting mist has kind of revived my skin a bit and I look less dry but I still look a bit cakey on my forehead. And finally I'm so excited for these. These are the Fenty lip stains and I've seen so many people using these and they look beautiful. They are the Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain. I've got four different shades. They did very kindly send these to me. I've got Zesty Bestie. What a name. Berry Banger, Strawberry Sangria and My Type but spelt like My Thai. Ooh, okay the packaging is triangular. Looks pretty cool. It's got the Fenty Beauty on there. I'm gonna go for the pink one which is called My Type. I don't do pink lips often but I saw somebody test this shade on TikTok and it looks amazing. Doesn't really have a scent. The doe foot is nice and thin so I've wiped the foundation off my lips and I'm just gonna go in with it. Oh wow. Oh gosh, okay, is this a mistake? Wow, a lot of, a lot of uh, colour comes off the applicator. It's just one dip. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't even read the instructions, what does it say? Quenches lips, brings wet look shine, leaves a soft stain. It feels really hydrating. And it's given like a glossy finish, which I wasn't expecting because a lot of lip stains are really, really dry and they feel really weird. And it looks really nice. I've seen people putting this on and then wiping it off straight away, but I don't know. Do I leave it to sink in for a couple minutes? I'm going to leave it for two minutes and then I'm going to come back and wipe it off and see the stain that sort of it's left behind. Also, just while I'm waiting for this, I've got to say, I was actually kind of expecting that by the end of the video, the concealer would have gone back to being sort of like really like oily feeling and would probably have creased under my eyes. But no, so far, nothing. Okay, so it's been two minutes. I'm just gonna take a little bit of tissue and wipe it off. Wow, I'm very, very impressed. You know why I'm impressed. Every single lip stain that I have tried has always gone sort of like darker in the middle of my lips or darker under any dry patches that I've got on my lips. But I think the difference with that one, because it has that hydrating sort of glossiness to it, it hydrates your lips while the stain is like sinking in. So you don't get the weird like dry patches of darker bits. That is so much more even than any other lip stain that I've actually ever tried. I think that looks really pretty. I'm really 
really like it. I would probably just put a bit of, you know what, let's just put on a bit of this lip oil. But it literally like nothing comes off now because it's all sunk into my lips. That is so cool. A bit of lip oil. And then let's see with the lip oil on. That's really cool. So it's now been about four hours since I filmed the video, right? And I did actually add a little bit of extra powder just on like the rest of my face. I'm still looking like a little bit oily, um, like my oils are coming through. But the main thing that I just wanted to update you on, this concealer, I thought like by now, the rest of my concealers, when I have sort of like fine lines under my eyes, when my eyes are especially dry, like here, you see these? Normally my concealer settles into them, especially when my eyes are super dry, it will sort of like sit in these lines. But, like, where it's not settled at all. Okay, I know this looks really weird, but just to try and show you. Like, where? There's no creases there. What? I love it. I'm really happy with how this video has turned out. I liked things in this that I was expecting to not like as much. REM Beauty have actually done a really good job on the concealers and the primer. I will definitely be using that primer again. This might be my favorite drop so far of REM Beauty. This is my finished face. What do we think? What's your favorite product from this video? So I will leave a link down below to all of the products that I used in this video if they're available. I hope you guys are doing really good. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.